Love everybody and welcome to God Wins TV. I'm your host, Reverend Sonia. So for this video, I want to talk to somebody named Cynthia, young lady named Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? Your friend Kimberly reached out to me and asked me to, to uh, make a video for you. So I just want to encourage you. Uh, she tells me that you have been diagnosed with a disease called sarcoidosis and you were at the same point I was in 1999. When I was diagnosed in 1994, uh, <clears throat> very few people had ever heard of sarcoidosis. I had never heard of it. And now, today, it's like everybody seems to have it. I have a, a niece with it. I've got a brother that's, you know, got signs of it, what have you. And so it seems like it's all over the place. But it's it's not something that... Uh, is a death sentence, not by any stretch, okay? So um, don't worry, because you could get through this. You're going to get through this, all right? In 1994, my kids were little. My my husband was wonderful. But what do you do when you when you're given when you're given a a sentence like that? You don't give up. You don't give up, okay? Um, every opportunity that that uh, God, um, every opportunity that presented itself, that I would allow people to pray for me, I allowed people to pray for me. Every opportunity God could come down and just cure me, like please God, just cure me, <laughs> you know, and. Um, uh, it didn't happen right away. I had the disease for four years. And finally, I went to the doctor and he said, there's nothing else that we can do for you. We've done everything. And you're exactly the same as when you first came in here, except the medication has made you much larger. What do you do with that? You know, so um, I put one step in front of the other and I just kept going. You go, you do, you pray, you keep the faith. And finally, um, one person from church came to me and said, you know what, God's going to God's gonna do something really soon in your life. And so there was another opportunity for people to pray for me, say, bring it on, you know, pray for me, let's get on with this. And um, Jesus had come, and he had come and encouraged me and told me, uh, he didn't say exactly what was going to happen in my future life, but it seemed like uh, I was going to have a wonderful life, and things were going to turn out just fine, and that's what I want to tell you today. You're going to have a wonderful life, and things are going to turn out just fine. So finally, uh, with the help of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God... They led me to the cure. They led me to the cure. And um, it was simply a nutritional change. It was papaya. This papaya. I still eat papaya today. It's just these little, <clears throat> these little chunks of fruit. And uh, if you can get the fresh stuff in Canada, the fresh stuff isn't very tasty. It's... <laughs> pretty disgusting actually but that's what it looks like and it's quite sweet I like it and I I eat it today not all the time but it I started eating about a handful every day I'll show you how much I ate I ate about this much every day about that much every day that's what I ate. And I, we have a store up here called Bulk Barn that used to have it. But anyways, the doctor, my, my lung specialist, because it affected my lungs, right? My lung specialist, when I went in there, he was like floored at the difference that it made. And I don't know, there's something in it that seems to 
kill the little viruses. It must be like an antiviral, antifungal something. I don't know. Papaya. That's what I ate. So, um, and today, uh, yeah, so I was, so I have been uh, sarcoidosis free since the year 2000. And that's 18 years ago now. And today I have a wonderful life. I work with people with <clears throat> emotional, I'm an emotion code practitioner working on my body code certificate. And so I work with people over the phone with illnesses and, and um, diseases and emotional issues. And we get rid of things over the phone. It's really quite fascinating. And I believe that this is what Jesus meant for us to do, meant for all of us to do. And don't worry. And don't doubt. And don't fear. Because when God and the devil get into a fight, who wins? That's right. God wins. Take care. Bye-bye.